In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today's Thursday, June 18th. We look at the first verse in Psalm 10, where it says, Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? And why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Now, this would be considering that the Lord hiding himself or standing afar off would mean that the Lord is not always there. But we know fully well that the Lord is Almighty, that the Lord is Pantocrator, that the Lord is omnipotent, omniscient, and watching over us at all times. Even while we're sleeping, the Lord, like a careful, loving Father, is watching over his children, protecting us and guiding us and preparing for us the things that are greater than what we could even think of or ask for. The Lord does not stand afar off. The Lord does not hide. Even when the disciples said so in the storm, Lord, do you not care that we are perishing while they were on the boat? The Lord was not uh, sleeping out of lack of care. This was a test of faith to know that while the Lord was not responding, He is there and He will respond in the fullness of time, as is with divine incarnation, as with the prophecies that were fulfilled in the fullness of time. Even Habakkuk the prophet says in chapter 2, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Let us trust the Lord and know that all things work together for good to those who love God. And the fullness of time is always impeccable. Because the Lord is perfect, and His will is perfect, and His love and timing are perfect. May God grant us to not only know this by theory, as we do, but to really live it and practice it daily. That's why He reminds us and tells the disciples, By your patience, possess your souls. Let us ask the Lord to increase our faith and our trust in Him and knowing how much He loves us, that we may also grow in loving Him as He loves us from now on into eternity. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.